Other news here at 5. Chief James Craig says he is pulling his officers from a DEA task force in the wake of the Kenyell Brown case. You may remember Brown, a suspect in six murders, was a free man after being tapped as a police informant with that task force. Despite numerous probation violations, he stayed out of jail. Let's bring in Victor Williams now. Victor, uh, the chief says there's a breach of trust here. Yes, absolutely. That's what the chief is saying. He's saying this was all the result of someone dropping the ball with Mr. Kenyell Brown, allowing him to become an informant, even though he was considered by many to be a danger to the community. It's very difficult for some to stand up before you and admit, you know what, made a mistake. I didn't think he worked for me, but I've later found that out. Chief Craig, obviously irritated, spoke to the press Tuesday afternoon about why he decided to withdraw officers from the Joint Drug Task Force with the DEA amid all the controversy that surrounds the late Kenyell Brown somehow becoming a federal informant. He was becoming increasingly dangerous. This is not the person you would want to work uh, as an informant. But the question remains, how could this have happened? Court documents show that on October the 29th, federal judge Bernard Friedman decided to free Brown during a federal supervision hearing. Just hours later, he was somehow working with the DEA. The judge recognized that this person was a danger. He says that in his own words. But then why was he removed from supervision? That's the question that has not been answered. The transcript then goes to show that Judge Freeman even told Brown to stay out of trouble, wishing him luck on the way out. Either way, the chief just wants the DEA to take responsibility for what's being called a terrible mistake. The whole issue of what I think the DEA should have done, I said, follow what I do. You stand up, you own it, you initiate some type of investigation, and depending on what you find, you hold people accountable. And we're told that even though the chief is pulling his officers from this task force, the DEA and DPD will continue to pursue uh, those who are breaking the law just separately. Reporting over at DPD's headquarters, Victor Williams, Local 4.